Hello viewers, welcome to Magis Chemistry Classes. In this presentation, we are going to discuss AGTRB Chemistry 2024, Unit Number 4 Quantum Chemistry. The topic is Hydrogen Spectrum. This video contains origin of hydrogen spectrum, related problems, and various series, Lyman Palmer bracket fund series number of spectral lines formed, how the wavelengths are calculated and what is the properties related to the spectrum and in which area the electromagnetic radiation and the wavelength and the series are present. Finally some MCQs. The origin of hydrogen spectrum. It is well known that the orbit is quantized the energy of the uh, first orbit that is n1 is equal to the energy of the first cell that is energy of the first cell that is e n1 is equal to minus 13.6 electron volt per atom and the energy of the second one is minus 3.4 electron volt per atom. The energy is fixed. When an electron absorbs energy, what happens? It shifts. It shifts from N1 to N2. So when an electron absorbs energy, it gets excited and it goes to the upper energy level N2. And the electrons tries to remain in the lowest energy level that is minus 13.6 electron volt. So that the electrons return back and the energy is emitted in the form of radiation. That is electromagnetic radiation. This spectrum is the emission spectrum and it is also a line spectrum. Band spectrum, line spectrums are two types. It is a type of line spectrum and it is a emission spectrum. So this is the basic of origin of hydrogen spectrum. Let us discuss on problems for understanding. An electron in hydrogen atom jumps from n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1. Find the energy and wavelength of the emitted radiation. So energy difference del is equal to E2 minus E1. What is the energy of the second level? It is minus 3.4 minus energy of the first orbital is minus 13.6 so that the del E is equal to plus 10.2 electron volt per atom so find the energy so energy is equal to 10.2 electron volt per atom then to find the wavelength from the energy so the energy will the wavelength calculate point wrong. that is E is equal to H into C by lambda known equation from that you can calculate the lambda value. What is the method? You substitute the Planck's constant value and uh, velocity of the light so that you get the lambda like this. That is 10.2 is equal to value of h is equal to 6.626 into 10 power minus 34 joule second and the velocity of the light 3 into 10 power 8 meter second inverse divided by lambda from that you can find out the lambda for that there is a shortcut the lambda is equal to 1 2 3 7 5 divided by 10 point root 10 point two electron volt lambda obtained by this method you get in the unit of constant Okay. Otherwise, you have to solve the lambda is equal to this much divided by 10.2. Okay. So, this is the basic equation to find out the lambda value, lambda of the electromagnetic radiation using this relation. When the electron from N2 to N1, del is equal to E2 minus E1, HC by lambda, that is minus 13.6, E sub squared, n squared 
power 2 minus minus of 13.6 into s squared e one squared. So it is a basic formula to find out the energy of the orbital. Energy of the orbital is energy of the electron in the nth cell is given by 13.6 into e squared. For hydrogen it is fixed. Otherwise you have to change. So it is n2 square. Okay. So this is the energy basic formula. So n2 square minus minus of minus 13 point is also n v square. So this is called the Lee value. So this is equal to hc by lambda minus 13.6 by z square and lambda 1 by lambda the h is. So this equation may be in the short form that is 1 by lambda this equal to r constant e sub squared 1 by n1 squared minus 1 by n2 squared. Okay. So this is the atomic spectrum formula. This formula is used to find out the lambda of the various series. And r is the Rydberg constant. The value is 1.09 into 10 power minus 7 meter inverse. So to recall this, some of the important formula, the energy formula, and uh, the shortcut to calculate the electron energy in the electron volt, lambda in the angstrom. And this is the atomic spectrum formula. Now the calculate lambda when the electron excites from N2 to N1. So this is called a Lyman series in the spectrum. We will discuss later. The N2 to N1. So substitute this value. What is N1 square minus N by N2 square. So 1 by lambda minus this is the final state and this is the starting state. By substituting what do you get? 1 by lambda is equal to r into 1 minus 1 by 4, 3 by 4. Lambda is equal to 1 by r into 4 by 3. Okay. And one more shortcut that is 1 by r is equal to 9, 11, 11 angstrom. So these are the sum of the shorts you have to remember. So by putting this value lambda is equal to 1 to 1, 6 angstrom. In this way, you can calculate very easily. What is the wavelength of the first line of Lyman series? That is 1 to 1, 6 angstrom. So n2 to n1. So for any energy transition, n3 or n4 or n5, it comes to the n1 stage. It is called Lyman series. So first line is the 1 to 1, 6 angstrom. So it is the last line of the Lyman series that is electron exits from n infinity to n1. So that the formula will be final state is 1 squared and the starting state is infinity. So it is 0, 1 by 1 minus 0. It will be 1 and this is equal to 1 by r that is line 1 1 also. So it is the last line of the Lyman series you can write 9 1 1 also. So first series is the value is 1 to 1 6 Armstrong and the last series 9 11 Armstrong. In this way you can calculate the various series. That is the excess from N3 to N2. For N2 the returning state is N2 then it is called the Falmer series. So it is the first line of the Falmer series. Okay. This is the shortest transition. And it is also a longest wavelength of the format series. First one, it is the final state, it is 2, and it is the first state, 3 square. Substituting, you get 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9, you get minus 5 by 36. 1 by r value is substituted, and you get the value 655 minus 2. So it is the first line of the Falmer series. First line, first line of the Lyman series is that is 1 to 1 6 ounce. In this way, we can calculate the different uh, lines of the series, Lyman, Palmer, Packet, Fund series. And in the last series, that is la last line of the Palmer series is this one. Final state and it's a starting state is 0. By calculating, you get the value 3644. So from this con from this calculation, we, can, we conclude that the Lyman to fund series, the lambda, that is the wavelength is decreases. So it is the pictorial representation of the various series, Lyman series, Palmer, Fortune, Frankett and Fund. The retaining is the N1, then it is called Lyman, 
return is n2, it is polymer, return is 3, it is Poisson and this bracket fund, etc. And the Vigio region is 4000 Armstrong to 8000 Armstrong. Lyman series falls into 911 to 126. So it is from infinity, it is the first line. So it is from the UV region, ultraviolet region, ultraviolet region. And the polymer is 3644 to 6500. So it entered into the Vigia, so it is visible. And the portion starts from the short IR and a bracket in the short IR and the fund series in the long IR. So Lyman series falls in the UV region, polymer series, visible region, portion bracket fund series are in the IR. The next one is the to find the number of transition, number of spectral lines. The formula is N2 minus N1, N2 minus N1 plus 1. See the number of transition lines from N2 to N1. You see that it is a Lyman N4 to N1, N3 to N1, N2 to N1. This means the N2 is equal to and m1 is equal to 1. So by substituting you get 4 minus 1, 4 minus 1 plus 1. So this is 3 into 4 by 2, 6 lines. Similarly, the n5 to n1, the 5 minus 1, 5 minus 1 plus 1 by 2, 10 lines. So in this way you can find out the number of spectral lines. Next one is now some of the MCQs we are going to discuss. What is the polymer series in the hydrogen spectrum primarily associated with? Hydrogen spectrum is the emission spectrum and what is the answer? It is the emission radiation. The MCQs reinforce your concept in the hydrogen spectrum. The second one, in the hydrogen spectrum, which series lines in the ultraviolet region? Go to the table. In this table, the Lyman series falls into the UV region and other into the visible and finally infrared region. So ultraviolet the spectrum is series is Lyman series. Okay. Polymer in the visible, portion in the IR. Third one, which are the following transition correspond to Lyman series? Lyman series correspond to N2 to N1 or N3 to N1. The final state will be one. What is the relationship between the wavelength of the successive lines in the former series of the hydrogen spectrum? Any series, we have seen that the first line of the Lyman series is 1 to 1, 6 Armstrong, and this goes on decreases finally at the infinite position. What is that value? It will be 9, 1, 1 Armstrong. So, any series, the first line to last line, the wavelength is decreases. Move on to the question. What is the relationship between the wavelength of successive lines in the former series it decreases? Your answer is B. The relationship between the wavelength of successive lines in the former series or any series of hydrogen decreases according to specific mathematical pattern. This pattern is described by the former formula. So this is the atomic spectrum formula. Lambda is the wavelength and the Rydberg constant, your value is given. N is the integer representing the principal quantum number, N is equal to 3, 4, 5, etc. As N increases, the wavelength of the spectral lines of the former series decreases. This means successive lines are closer together at higher energy level. Successes lines are very closer in the higher energy levels, resulting in a Converging series of spectral lines. That is the joint panel or series of spectral lines. Okay. First line is the gap. So these are the representation of the series. Next one. Which physicist is credited with explaining the hydrogen spectrum through the is model of atom? Niels Bohr. The spectral lines of hydrogen are primarily two. It is a electron transition. And question number seven, which series in the hydrogen spectrum lies in the infrared, infrared region? 
lime and the ultraviolet, polymer and the visible portion in the IR region. Answer is C. Question number 8. In hydrogen spectrum, which series has the shortest wavelength? Which series has the shortest wavelength? That is Lyman series. Lyman to polymer increases and to Poisson increases. What is the value of N for the first line of the Lyman series in the hydrogen spectrum? First line of the Lyman series in the hydrogen spectrum that is N is equal to 1. N is equal to 1, 2, N is equal to 2. Question number 10. The energy levels in the hydrogen atoms are quantized according to classical mechanics, quantum mechanics, Newton laws. It is based on the quantum mechanics. Okay, guys, this is the end of our presentation. In this presentation, we have discussed some of the important formulas related to the hydrogen spectrum series and a shortcut to find out the spectral lines and for the calculation. I hope that it is useful. Thank you for watching this video.